Welcome to my new series where Shannon, the domestically challenged, takes on the fly lady zone cleaning. Was that dramatic enough? I asked, you answered, and you wanted to see me tackle my zones for the first time. I'm a little scared to take on this challenge, but I know it'll be good for me. And I will talk about the reasons why, as a person who struggles with depression and chronic illness, why I think this will be good for me. So in this series, we're just gonna go ahead and start in zone one. The fly lady actually breaks up the month into the first week being zone one, the second week zone two, the third week zone three, and so on. So she uses the calendar to determine what zone she's in. I'm not going to do that, and I'm just gonna start in zone one because my brain, when it says, you need to be in zone two, my brain goes, but what about zone one? But what about zone one? And so just to uh, take it easy on the noggin, we're gonna start in zone one. And then we're just going to loop. So I'm still gonna do every week, but I'm just going to loop. So next week will be zone two and so on. I know I can manage that. I'm a really big rule follower and a lot of times I have a hard time breaking away from the rules set out in front of me. But many of you guys reminded me last week that I don't have to play by the rules. I can use it as a guideline and adapt it so it works for me. We all have different homes and our homes have different needs. So we gotta keep that in mind. The fly lady has a great system in place, but I do believe it needs to be used as a guideline. So for my home, I've predetermined that zone one is going to consist of my front porch, my entryway, an entryway closet, my office, the laundry room, and the hallway bath and the craft closet in there. Just so I can make sure I'm checking in on that closet once a month. It's not crazy right now, but it needs attention. So this week, zone one, that's what we're focusing on. I went ahead and typed up the checklist using her list on the app as a guideline. And then I was able to add in, okay, this room has a window. She didn't mention a window. So I put the window cleaning in there. So you kind of got to adapt it to what that area needs. So this is the checklist for zone one. And I will probably be editing it as I go. That's why I haven't laminated it or anything like that. So we got our list. Let's get to cleaning in zone one. Some modifications I know that I'm going to make for myself is I'm going to try and do more than 15 minute cleanings. A, because 15 minutes isn't a lot of time to begin with. And sometimes if I say, oh, it's only 15 minutes, I'm more likely to just brush it off, I think. So 15 minutes is going to be my minimum I'm gonna set for myself, my maximum being an hour. And the reason being is I know myself and I know my body and it is unrealistic for me to expect to be up and going every single day. That's unrealistic for me. I may have a few good days a week to knock things out and then the other couple of days I'm down for the count and just in survival mode. So knowing that about myself, this is going to require more than 15 minutes on my good days, but it is not to exceed one hour because we don't want to kill ourselves for the next day. <laughs> and one thing I've learned about myself is if I can move, if I can get some good movement without overdoing it, it usually gives me more spoons for the next day. Spoons meaning energy if you're not familiar with the spoon theory. So it gives me more energy for the next day. So there's like a delicate balance there. You gotta love having a finicky body, right? I wanna thank you guys for all the ideas you had for me on the last video because it really helped me get organized for this video.
Okay, so entrance is done. I went ahead and skipped straight in the coat closet. I'm actually going to save that for next month since I had to do a lot of decluttering first. And the fly lady will actually encourage you to start decluttering. Use your time to declutter first. And so ideally next month we'll see if this happens. There won't be as much clutter which will open up more time for this because this is probably also going to take a lot of decluttering as well. So we're just going to postpone that. So, so far I've used up about 20 more minutes. Honestly, I've got probably 20 to 30 more minutes left in me. So I think next I am going to do this one because I think this one will take me 10 minutes tops. And then I'm going to try and make a dent in here and hopefully that will domino me into finishing it tomorrow. So I really wanted to talk about how routines and checklists really help me as a person who has physical and mental limitations and why I think the fly lady is going to help. I have found having daily routines help me maintain. So if I don't do anything else in my home, I'm at least taking care of bare minimum tasks. It keeps me in autopilot when my mind is elsewhere. If we stay in our routines, the chances are pretty good that the bathroom stays clear, a load of laundry gets done, and the kitchen sink is empty at the end of the day. When I do have good energy days, I already have a plan in place. I know what zone I'm in and I can zero in on that area without being too overwhelmed by the rest of the house. The checklists provide me with little shots of dopamine as I check them off. Things that appeal to me about the fly lady is how she makes time for herself and for family time. This is not sponsored, by the way. She also stresses a little something done will still bless your home, and when you have a lot of other things weighing on you, sometimes it is just nice to be reminded that even five minutes taking care of your home is better than nothing. As a young person, I didn't really have a good example on how to maintain a home. My parents worked a lot, and aside from basic chores like laundry dishes, etc., we always marathon cleaned. At least that's how I remember it. And it's how I still catch myself cleaning today. It's stressful, and to be honest, we all hate doing it. Not only that, but after a marathon clean, I'm burnt out without a plan to maintain it. So now, at 36, I'm really trying to train myself as well as my children on how to maintain a home so that the job doesn't become overwhelming and we can all experience the peace that comes with keeping a tidy home. I don't know if that is realistic or not, but I feel like as we continue to downsize the amount we have and find homes for the rest, we will get close. I know there are other cleaning gurus out there like the fly lady, like Clean Mama. I'm curious to know if y'all follow someone else out there. On the last video, I got a lot of comments about the secret slob and I love her channel. 
and she does seem to simplify the fly lady plan so i definitely recommend checking her out if you find the fly lady a little overwhelming she came up with the five by five method i've done a couple of videos on that in the past but that's where you pick five rooms and clean for five minutes in each room and it makes such a big difference go check those videos out if you haven't seen them already you you've been hiding in the shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Okay, so we got the entrance and the laundry room done and my body is telling me to stop. So I'm going to listen to my body. It's not as much as I had hoped to get done, but it is what it is. And that's one thing I really like about the fly lady is she gives you a whole week to do this whole zone. So I'm feeling pretty good about it because I did all that. I did basically, we'll say close to a half of it in one day. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll pick up and continue on. And by see you tomorrow, I'll see you in a second. It'll be tomorrow for me, one second for you. So don't click off the video. Good morning. It's a new day and I'm just ready to hit the ground running. I'm learning to know when to stop and that was good. I took some ibuprofen, a hot bath, went to bed, woke up and feeling, feeling pretty good. So not really excited about the job at hand in this room but it needs to be done and it'll feel really good when it's done that's what we got to keep telling ourselves what it's gonna feel like when it's done i have a few crafts that i need to get done for a friend who just had a baby and i see her next week so i need to get that done but there's nowhere to work in here so that also adds to a little motivation to knock this thing out let's get on it I'm gonna start in this corner so that I can reset. This takes up a lot of space, a lot of movement. It takes, as you can see, it's like a quarter of the room. It's also gonna be the biggest task, so I feel like if I knock it out, it'll be downhill from there. Way too long. Oh, 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 oh. And because if you might miss it, you're strong. 
who you're holding your secrets for way too long this can't keep going on with every lie they keep on hurting you getting away with everything they do this can't keep going on oh no. we're gonna find them and i'm gonna fight for you they better start hiding we'll be running with the lions lions This is a little more cluttered than I would like to, but when we do the porch, I know like this is a little rug here. There's a welcome mat for the front porch. So when we do that here in a little bit, that'll help reduce a little bit of the clutter on the shelves. But these are like my in progress slash waiting in queue to do projects. I haven't been doing them because the room has been a mess. You can't move around. It's not perfect. There's still a lot of decluttering that needs to be done in here, but I feel really good about that. I put in at least a solid hour, at least. That's about all I wanna do on this room. Another reason I really, really, really like the concept of the fly lady in these zones is instead of saying, oh, my whole house needs to be cleaned, I go through and clean the whole thing and then I don't have a routine to keep it up and I don't have a plan in place to come back and revisit it in a month. It's kind of like it's checked off in my mind. Whereas with the routine of the fly lady in the zones, I know I'm gonna be back in here in a few weeks. I can save some stuff till then and it helps motivate me to do those quick five minute pickups. So when I do get back around to it, I'm working on, you know, what I left and not new messes. You know what I mean? I'm sure there'll be a little bit of new messes, but nothing like what we tackled today. We've got the porch and the hallway bathroom and the craft closet that we're going to tidy up and tackle. So let's knock those out. And we will have done our whole zone in two days. It feels good. I just want to keep you to myself. Stay with me or leave me be. I want you all to
couldn't get all the chalk off the porch but between that and the welcome mat I feel like that helps set people's expectations low It's still winter here, so we are going to wait on these. We definitely need to do this though. It's looking pretty rough out there. We've had a lot of freezing temps in North Texas this year, so there's a really good chance that everything in my front yard died and, and we will have to redo everything. So I'm sort of waiting on spring to see if they are just dormant still or if they are indeed dead to see if anything comes back to life. I'm not looking forward to that because I am not really good at landscaping and it's back breaking work. I just really do not enjoy it either. <laughs> Moving on, we are going to tackle my arch nemesis of a closet. I despise this closet. So as you can see, not terrible, very much manageable. The shelves are getting a little bit out of order here, so we're going to reset those. Shouldn't be too bad. And I got a new toy. Stay tuned for a future video because we are going to clean all the things with this thing. This closet is really difficult to film in, so we're just going to do the snap trick real quick. I think this video is going to be long enough anyway. Ready? So just a quick 10 minute pickup and vacuum. And we are reset. One of the things I plan on cleaning with this machine is to work on these stains and even try and get up that paint out of the carpet. Not with the machine, but with some paint remover. <laughs> Last but not least, this bathroom, it needs a lot of work. I don't think the camera picks up on just how gross the floor is, the baseboards and all that good stuff. So we're gonna see if we can make this about 15, 20 minutes better. It's actually quite gross back here. So I'm gonna have to really do some scrubbing. And I'm busted. I was totally wearing my leggings inside out this whole day. When I was doing the porch and I tried to stick something in my pocket, I realized it then. And I could have fixed it, but I didn't. I didn't want anything to slow me down, but now that I'm editing, I kind of wish I had. I just want to keep you to myself. Stay with me or leave me be. I want you all to. The caulk around the toilet was quite stained, so I'm just using bleach right now. I'm going to let that set for a few minutes, see if I can't lift some of those. I always thought you weren't supposed to caulk around the bottom of the toilet. I could be wrong on that. But if it is wrong, this was not us. It was the previous owners. My whole house needs a new caulking job. It's just really old. This bathroom is in desperate need of a makeover. One of the previous owners repainted the bathroom tan, but they missed so many spots. And you can see an aqua blue popping out along the baseboards, around the vents and light fixtures. They also didn't remove the switch plates. So when we had to replace the light switch, we found out they make them smaller now. It's such an eyesore, but I'm excited to revamp this. A fresh coat of paint on the walls and baseboard are going to go a long, long way. And I am even thinking about another accent wall. If you have any accent wall ideas, let me know in the comments. I'm also thinking about replacing this pedestal sink with 
a small vanity, something that provides a little bit of storage in this bathroom for like toilet paper and cleaners and that sort of thing. So I haven't decided that 100% because I do like the look of a pedestal sink. So we'll see. We'll both be surprised. We'll see. had enough foresight to wash the rugs last night so they'd be ready to go. Yes. I don't think this was supposed to be washed. <laughs> Pretty sure I destroyed this rug and yep I was only supposed to spot clean that looks like it was kept together by adhesive bummer even with the little rug gripper it still would shift around a lot and we would trip over it and it's just best to keep that floor empty maybe I really like having a rug in there just because of people coming in from the garage and it being dusty in there. It kind of traps the dust from the garage. <sighs> but next rug we'll have to have a little bit more grip. This is the trash and recycling that we generated just today. Zone one, done. I'm thankful for two good energy days to knock that out. That helps free me up the rest of the week. We got rid of a lot of stuff. It feels really good. The whole reason why I was kind of keeping track of time is since I'm mapping out the zones in my house, I kind of want to keep them equal on the amount of time. You know what I mean? So it's kind of something that I'm keeping in mind just in case I need to move like the hall bath into another zone or something like that. So that's the whole reason why I was kind of writing down times and getting an estimate. I want to make sure the zones are evenly broken up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm so thankful you were here. I hope you will go look yourself in the mirror and say something kind. And we will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.